Hello, my beautiful people. So welcome to the numerological portion of this reading. Don't skip this. This is going to give you a really important overview. This is going to give you a context of the energies, trends and themes that are likely to permeate the whole year. Now, the way that I see all of these mystical arts, or as I like to call them, the spiritual sciences, Astrology is one slice, the numerology is another slice, the tarot is another slice. All of these different slices eventually add up to a much richer textured understanding of what is unfolding over a period of time. So this year we are in a person, as always I've got my trusty notes, this year we are in a universal year. Hello, my beautiful people. So this insert is basically to give you a little bit more of a deeper look at the uh, in the eclipses of 2023. So remember, these are big events that take place, but they really aren't just events. These are trigger points, trigger moments that unleash certain types of energies that will unpack and your new moon, which is taking place for you, the Taurus new moon is happening on May the 19th. <laughs> For you, so this year, the Taurus new moon is a dissociation kind of energy. And so basically what this means is it can create a bit of a near miss. And what I mean by this is you might see an opportunity and it might come up and at face value or at first look, you might think, mm, you know what, this isn't really that. It, it for your career and your academics, your professional life, you have your card, the faith card. So the faith card is actually the hierophant. And this tells me that you are establishing, for some of you, you're re-establishing for your love and relations, you've got the um, tree of life card. So I love this. So I'm gonna start for those of you that are single. If you are single, 2023 is very likely to be a year that brings love into your life. It is very likely to be that you meet somebody through divine wisdom, divine ordinance, uh, divine orchestration, because this card represents uh, divine intervention and assistance. And what this suggests to me is if you're single, your May card is the chariot card. So May, you're going to be traveling. In fact, probably April coming into May, you are likely to be traveling. I get the sense that this is going to be for something that you have either wanted to do for a long time. This could be you taking a short break, maybe that weekend city break that you've always wanted to take. Um, it could be maybe you're taking your significant other somewhere that they've always wanted to go. But this is travel that makes you really happy, that feels like a, a blessing in some way. And you've got this with the Six of Cups. That's so lovely. Right. So literally I called it. Right. As I said, this is something you've wanted to do for a very long time. The Six of Cups takes you right back to your childhood. This is maybe like 